Hey, I'm Ben John, the rugby trainer, and this month of March, we're going to be focusing on rucking. Okay, so a lot of chat have been, especially in the Six Nations, where there's been a few red cards with the rucking, especially in the English Premiership as well. So we're just going to go over a couple of skills and drills that we can do, um, yeah, to improve our rucking, and a couple of laws as well. I'm going to touch on what we can and can't do in the ruck. So yeah, swipe right to check out the uh, first week of rucking. Let's go. So with rucking and especially with the red cards and the laws in place at the moment, what you can and can't do. First of all, you cannot touch the head of the jackler. So the head of the jackler you cannot touch, but a lot of people have said then, why can't the jackler just stick his head in there and whoever's cleaning out won't be able to touch it. But what we need to be focusing on is for a jackler to get in that position, that means they've beaten us to the race. So what I'm gonna focus on today is we're gonna focus on little drills that we can do to win that race. First of all, the support play, we need to get right behind our ball carrier. And secondly, speed into position and getting that jackler off the ball before they actually get on it, okay? So yeah, swipe right to check out a few of these drills. Let's go. So like I mentioned in the previous video, what we're looking to do is this jackler here, we want to try and beat them to the race or beat her to the race over this ball, okay? So I'm just going to show you three drills that we can do, progressive drills that we can do to practice speed off the floor or speed into position and winning the battle of the height, okay? So, right, this is drill number one. So drill number two here, I'm using a yellow cone and I'm using a blue cone and I'm going to be standing in the middle here, bouncing, bouncing and when I say a colour, yellow or blue, I'll go and touch that cone, making sure when we're hitting our ruck, we're not just coming in from the side here, we go into an L shape. So land in the plane, so a good little tip for you is to put your hand on the floor, hand on the floor, come around and then you're coming in to make that hip, making your feet not a big stride, short and sharp steps. Chasing that feet, chasing over. Again, stay low, put your hand on the floor. Give this a go. Yellow. Blue. Yellow. Blue. So this third drill, what we're gonna do here is introduce a little pop pass because this is where we get behind the races. A lot of us, when we pass, we fall away from the pass. So we want to be passing, following the pass, and then cleaning this ruck out, getting to the uh, ball before the jackler, okay? So we want to be, for me, because uh, I haven't got play with me, I'm going to try and hit that green sign, and then as I pass, I'm going to be coming around cleaning out. Let's give us a go. So that is week one. We've got so many things to talk about as well, about wrapping the arm, dropping the height, uh, off the feet, that sort of thing. But that's gonna come in the next three weeks. But what we focus on here is just speed to the ruck. Winning that race to the ruck is so important. As soon as we get behind, as soon as they beat us to the race, we have to do everything we can. And then, unfortunately, the last few weeks, it's resulted in a few red cards just because of uh, technique issues or a change of picture last minute. So again, we want to be in the ball court. We want to be dictating what we do in that ruck. So win that race, try these three drills out. Comment, share, and thank you everyone. If you have any questions, drop them below. Ooh, hard work, out of breath. Thank you.